Hello students, today we are going to solve the polynomial exercise 2G from RS Agarwal. That's for CBSC grade 9. In the last video, I have already solved exercise 2F. Exercise 2G has 48 questions, so I will divide it into four parts. So this is the first part and we will be solving the question number 1 to question number 12. So let's start. Okay. So the first one we have x square plus 11x plus 30. So this is our first questions which we are going to solve. So this chapter is depend upon the middle term method. What is middle term method? In the middle term method we used to find the factors of the constant term and the coefficient of the new uh, square term and using those factors anyhow by adding or subtracting the factors i need to get the 11 okay the middle term uh, coefficient of the middle term okay so let's try that so i have the terms as 1 into 30 so we have 30 and what are the factors of 30 if i just write down the factors of 30 i have 1 30 at the same time 31 we have 2 15 at the same time 15 2 at uh, 3 10 at the same time 10 3 uh, then for 5 5 6 at the same time 6 and 5 so these are the 1 2 3 4 8 pair of the factors possible factors now by adding and subtracting the factors you should get the 11 by adding the and subtracting the factors we should get the 11 and I can see only this one is giving me the answer if I add 5 and 6 I'll be getting 11 so that means this 11 can be written as 5 plus 6 so let's try that x square plus 5 plus 6 times x plus 30 so x square plus 5x plus 6 6 plus 30 okay now I have to pair them so from the first two term it's very easy that we can take x common if I take x common and from the first term I will be left with x and from the second term I am left with 5 and the same way I can take 6 common and I will be left with x plus 5 I can take x plus 5 again common from this two term x plus 5 is common and I am left with x plus 6 so that's the answer okay let's try the second question the second question is x square plus 18x plus 32 x square plus 18x plus 32 so in the same way if I factorize 32 I need 18 so 32 can be written as I need 18 so 16 times 2 this pair of factors will give me 18 by adding them so x square 16 plus 2 times x plus 32 so this gives me x square plus 16x plus 2x plus 32 and x times x plus 16 plus 2 times x plus 16 so it will give me x plus 16 times x plus 2 so that's the answer for question number 2 okay let's try question number 3 the question number 3 is given x square plus 7x minus 18 x square plus 7x minus 18 so the factors must be 18 equals to 9 times 2 and 9 and 2 if I subtract it it will give me 7 so x square the 7 can be written as 9 minus 2 times x minus 18 so it's x square plus 9x minus 2x minus 18 you can take x common it will be x plus 9 you can take minus 2 common it will be x plus 9 so the answer will be x plus 9 times x minus 2 let's do the fourth one it's x square minus 5x x square plus 5x minus 6 
now I need 5 uh, it can be done actually two way but that 6 can be factorized in 1 into 6 which will give you uh, 5 and other one is 3 plus uh, 3 and 2 which will also give you 5 but uh, if I do 3 plus 2 it will actually it will not work so I'm gonna do it using the first one x square plus 6 minus uh, if your question is how I got to know that you can say it's an experience because I this is a very famous one so I'm it's a tested one that the 3 and 2 factors will not work so the answer is x plus 6 and x minus 1 okay the fifth question is given y square minus 4y plus 3 so the 3 is uh, can be written as 1 into 3 and sum of 1 and 3 is 4 so y square the 4 can be written as 3 plus 1 times y plus 3 and that will give you y square minus 4y minus y plus 3 you can take y common so it will be y minus 4 and then you can take minus 1 common so it will be y plus 3 sorry uh, this now cannot be 4 this is 3 this is 3 so you can take y minus 3 common and you'll be left with y minus 1 so that's the fifth one let's do the sixth one also x square minus 21 x plus 108 so it will give you x square minus 21 x and 108 so using 108 we need to get 21 okay so 108 actually can be written as 2 times 54 or it can be written as uh, 54 can be written as 6 times 9 so if I multiply this two, so that means the 154 uh, is having some factors like uh, 2 into 6 into 9 that means actually 12 into 9 and 12 plus 9 is 21 so I have to write it at like 12 plus 9 12 plus 9 x plus 108 mm, okay so let's try x square minus 12 x minus 9 x plus 108 so x square okay I can take x common so x into x minus 12 minus 9 into x minus 12 so it will give you x minus 12 times x minus 9 so that's the question number answer for the question number 6 let's do it for question number 7 which is given x square minus 11 x x square minus 11 x minus 80 so 80 the factors must be I need 11 so I can do 5 is uh, 80 I know 16 into 5 because 16 minus 5 is 11 so x square minus 16 minus 5 x minus 80 when you are dealing with negative terms you must be careful about the change of the sign minus I have a minus outside so to, whenever I'm multiplying it I should change the sign inside the bracket so this minus 5x become plus 5x because minus and this minus become plus okay I think you now understood this minus this minus this minus become plus now x if I take x common it is x minus 16 if I take 5 common it's x minus 16 so it's actually x minus 16 x plus 5 is the answer let's do the uh, eighth one x square minus x minus 156 I need 1 I have 156 so 
156 is the factors of okay I have to factorize it so let's go for 2 78 I'm just doing the prime factorization 39 2 uh, sorry 3 13 so 3 to the 12 to uh, 3 to the 6 to the 12 actually 156 can be written as 12 into 13 and 13 minus 12 is 1 okay so we can write it like uh, x square minus 13 minus 12 times x minus 156 now why you may ask me a question that why how from where I get 1 actually this minus x is nothing but minus 1x so I just need to find that 1 I don't need to include the sign because I'm taking the sign outside the bracket so I just need to take the numerical 1 in order to solve it okay anyway so that's x square minus 13 x plus 12 x minus 156 after this video also if you have any doubt you can always ask me into the comment section I also provide one to one session for CBSC, ICSC, IB, IGCSC from 6 to 12 all the get grades so if still you have a, you are having doubt you can always ask me for help the question number nine uh, maybe you may think that I'm doing the questions a little bit fast uh, it has two reasons actually first of all I'm a little bit it's my habit to do the solve the question first which I can do and as much first as possible because I think as a student you must have the same type of mentality because that always helps you to find uh, save some time in, in time of exam the first thing second thing what I uh, used to say that uh, I want to wrap my overall length of the video a little bit short because I know you students don't have any patience to s stick with that at the end so that's why I'm just trying to do it as fast as possible okay so 105 again the prime factorization must work 21 3 7 I need 32 I have 5 3 and 7 as my factors mm, so 50 5 3 is a 15 15 plus 7 is 32 so I can just bring the factors as 15 times 7 okay so it's j square minus 15 plus 7 z minus 105 so it's z square minus 15 z minus 7 z minus 105 so if you take z common it's z minus 15 if you take minus 7 common it's z minus 15 so it's nothing but z minus 15 and z minus 7 so that's the answer okay let's do the uh, tenth one 40 plus 3x minus x square okay in this question something is a little bit difficult uh, different not difficult that is the x square is in is given in the end i don't need to worry i don't need to rearrange it i just need to focus on the constant term and the coefficient of the squared term so it's just giving me 40 and from 40 i just need 3 so simply 40 can be written as 5 times 8 and 8 minus 5 is 3 so i just need to use those as my factors 8 minus 5 times x minus x square so 40 plus 8x minus 5x minus x square so I can just take 8 common it's 5 plus x minus 5 common uh, sorry I can just take 8 common so it's 5 plus x I can take x common it's 5 plus x so it will be 8 minus x and 5 plus, uh, plus x that's the answer uh, so the 11th one the last two for this okay for this first part of the video the 11th one is given 6 minus x minus x square and I can just do it same way the 6 can be factorized in the form 3 and 2 because 3 and 2 uh, if you subtract it should give you 1 
6 minus 3x plus 2x minus x square. Uh, I can take this 3 common. 2 minus x plus I can take x common. It's 2 minus x. 2 minus x and 3 plus x. That's the answer. And the 12th one. Mm, 7x square plus 49x plus 84. Okay, so here uh, in the first time uh, till now, I'm having an uh, coefficient of x square other than 1. So I must take that also. So 85 times 7 and from there I need to get 49. So 84 times 7 and that using these factors I just need to get 49. So the 84 can be factorized in the way 4 times 21 times 7. Okay, so if I multiply this 2, it must give me... Uh, 28 times 21 and some of it is 49 so I got the answer so it's 7 x square plus 28 plus 21 times 6 plus 84 so it's 7 x square plus 28 x plus 21 x plus 84 I can take 7 x common uh, so it give me x plus 4 and I can take 21 common and will be left with x plus 4. So it's nothing but x plus 4 into 7x plus 21. Okay, a bit more uh, factorization is possible. I can take 7 common from here. And that should give you x plus 3. But there is a simpler way to do this. This is a theoretical way, but you can use a simple trick here for this 12th question so it's alt alternate method so the question is given 7x square plus 49x plus 84 I can see directly I can take actually 7 common x square plus 7x plus 12 and from 12 I just need to factorize the inside term that's the terms within the bracket and I think it's very simple to factorize it because 12 is the 12 can be written as 3 into 4 so which the sum must give you 12 uh, sum must give you 7 so it's x square plus 3x plus 4x plus 12 and here it is x square plus oh, sorry you can take x common it will be x plus 3 you can take 4 common it will be x plus 3 7 into x plus 3 into x plus 4 look we should have the same answer 7 into x plus 3 into x plus 4 7 into x plus 3 into x plus 4 so you got the seven uh, same answer so Thanks for watching the video. Stick with us. So, uh, within few days, uh, within few moments, I will be posting the second part of the video also. There, we will try to solve the question number 13 to question number 24, the second part. Because, I, as I told you, I will proceed uh, with... 12 questions at a time because I divided the 48 questions as a part of four videos. Do like, share, and comment on the videos. I would like to hear from you. If you have any doubt, if you have any exercise you want me to solve, please don't worry. Just feel free to comment that in the comment section. And also comment how you are enjoying the videos, how these videos are, how you want the videos to be because all these effort are for you students so you can always ask me for that okay so thank you thank you very much bye